Morning guys, so I want to talk to you this morning about something that I think a lot of people struggle with. Um, it's something that I think affects your mindset and your your ability to keep going and can sometimes deter, deter you from um, <coughs> continuing your journey, sustaining your journey, your fitness journey. And that's patience. Now, when we start out our fitness journey and we want to start losing some fat, and we want to start getting fitter, we want to start looking leaner, we want to be in nicer clothes, we want to look good when we go out. <coughs> All of those good things. We kind of want them immediately. We kind of want them right away. We kind of, we kind of do a workout and we kind of look at ourselves and go, fuck, why has nothing happened? Maybe not to that extreme. But certainly we expect results with an immediate effect. Um, and it's... I guess the point of this video this morning really is just to put some perspective on that and kind of like get you to think a little bit more about, be a little bit more self-aware about this whole journey and, and kind of what you can expect. Now, if you run your own business, you know full well that there's no such thing as an overnight success. It takes years of hard work, of getting things wrong, uh, rectifying them and then putting them right so that you have a new system in place so that you have a new sales funnel in place um, so that you have a new product in place and you deliver that to the very best of your ability so what happens is that your business grows and grows and grows and grows and over a period of time you end up then suddenly making a profit okay but that doesn't happen right away does it and it's the same with the relationship you don't meet somebody some girl on a bar, although no one meets anyone in a bar anymore, do they? So let's just say Tinder or Plenty of Fish or whatever the fucking websites are these days. Let's say you meet somebody. Okay, you are not going to be taking them back to see your parents in the first two weeks, right? Okay, you're not going to be asking them to marry you. You're not going to be asking them to, to move in in those first two weeks, right? You won't rush that process. Because at the start, it's just a bit of fun. And then all of a sudden you start having feelings for each other and then you suddenly start a relationship and those things blossom and grow, just like your business as well. So your weight loss and fat loss is no different. It's no different at all. We start off at the beginning, when we start off a journey, it's all a bit fucking, it's all a bit alien, shall we say. It's all a bit new. You're still trying to get used to tran transitioning from a life or years, months of neglect on yourself to then suddenly, you know, I'm starting to pay attention to myself. Um, and then all of a sudden you can't start thinking to yourself, well, now I'm starting to pay attention to myself. I'm going to try and get a couple of these workouts in. I've got to try and learn how to do these workouts. I've got to try and learn how to eat properly. I've got to know how much to eat. Okay, I've got to keep going over and over again. I've got to see how I've got to fit this in within my life. I've got to see how this, um, how I can make this sustainable. And you look at all those things and you put them relation, in relation to anything that you're trying to grow, i.e. a business, trying to learn what a profit and loss sheet is, trying to learn how to do your taxes, trying to employ decent staff, trying to sort out your marketing, and in relationships, you know, you're getting to know each other, finding out what you like and what you don't like, making sure that chemistry is still there. And you can see all of the ground, all of the foundation work is going into each of those things. And it's the same with your fat loss journey. Okay, you're putting all the groundwork in. You're building up the pillars for you to then build on and build your success. I don't expect anyone to think that they are suddenly going to be in a profit in business after two, four, eight weeks. I don't expect anyone to be asking anyone to marry anyone, move in with anyone after two, four, six, eight weeks. And I certainly don't expect people to be where they want to be in two, four, six, eight weeks when it comes to their training. I expect there to be weight loss. I expect there to be initial fat loss. But a lot of people are expecting to, to have changes too soon. When somebody suddenly makes a journey, what tends to happen 
is that that person will make that journey and they'll throw themselves right in there. They'll throw themselves in the deep end. They'll burn themselves out. I talked about this yesterday. I talked about this yesterday. I talked about how people are overdoing it too soon. Okay? And guess what happens in a relationship when you go too much too soon? He's pretty clingy. I need to get rid of him. He's a bit overwhelming. I need to get rid of him. In business, you end up spending all your money. <laughs> you've got no marketing budget left because you've gone all in on one particular area. Okay, so same with your fitness. You throw yourself into it. You end up becoming burnt out. You don't see the results you want to see because you won't listen to me. You'll look at the scales and judge all of your success on your scales. Okay, when you start your journey, what you should be doing is taking measurements of your belly, taking a before picture of your front side and back, making a note of your clothes size, look at the clothes and see how they fit you. And then maybe every four, maybe every, yeah, maybe every four weeks, just drop in a before and after picture. Just take another one. Just take a measurement. See how the clothes are fitting you. Do that 12 times and that's a year then and only then look and reflect at your journey look at your results and see if you're still going because if you're still going in 12 12 months then to me you're a success if you've stopped looking and stopped taking pictures after the first four weeks then you've given up already to make fat loss weight loss changing transform uh, transformation of your body takes consistent amount of time and learning and transition it takes a lot of courage and discipline and you know it's all down to sustainability so if you are trying to change the way that you look i want you to think about this and put this into perspective so that you can make your journey more successful and put less pressure on yourself when it comes to it because what happens when you jump on the scale and you judge everything by the scales and you haven't lost anything, but yet you look completely fucking different, you end up beating yourself up about it. And you end up beating yourself up and you're like looking at yourself going, fucking hell, still a fat fucker. There's no fucking point in doing this, is there? It's the long-term gains. It's the long-term gains and that's what you're working to. You're looking to, like a pound and a half a week is great, but remember the way that your body will look and your weight will differentiate. There will be two different types of results. And wouldn't you rather be looking good than worrying about what you weigh? So in the last six months, I've put on half a stone. But I'm no fatter. I've just been in a gym. I'm bulking up my legs and my glutes and my core ready for my 100 mile run. But if I was to take that and look at it and go, for, I'd be like, fucking hell, I'm half a stone heavier. Perspective, guys, perspective. All right, take this journey slow. Make it sustainable. It's going to be over a long period of time. If you are still doing this, and we are still, you are still listening to me in 365 days, then to me, you're fucking, you've won the battle. All right? Don't expect results immediately. Don't expect results in the first fucking couple of weeks, in the first couple of months, because you are learning your routine, you're learning what works for you, you're learning how to push yourself, and you're learning about what works and what doesn't work. It could almost take you two months before you actually start being sustainable and actually building your fitness levels and your fat loss levels and everything else that goes with that. That's why when I used to do six to eight week programs, they never worked because it took the guys six weeks just to start, just to, just to get into some form of routine, which is why I did the Brotherhood. Uh, and the Brotherhood is all about the long-term goal. It's like a never-ending program. It's like a life journey program until you're ready to spread your wings and go and do it yourself. All right, guys, so thanks for listening. Um, just don't beat yourselves up. Just understand this process is fucking, it takes time. You know, you don't do a workout, eat a great day's worth of food and not drink, and then look down and suddenly get a six pack or even a flat tummy, all right? It takes time, consistency, it takes discipline from you. Um, if you want to join us, if you want free access to the Brotherhood from Monday, there's a link somewhere on here. If you're listening on podcast, please just drop a review now for me. If you're watching this on video, please share, guys. I will see you tomorrow for the last one of the week.